It's a cold 32 degrees right now. I mean cold, but bearable, we would say, because... Anyway, let's go outside. Now, I'm not too sure if this weather is going to change again, because... And I don't know, maybe it won't, but... It, like, went cold last week, and it went warm last week. So it could do the same again, but I don't know. The future forecast doesn't say it's going to do that, but anyway. You can see there's some frost on the ground. This grass has, like, grown within a week, some of it. Now it's, like, all frost over. And it's, like, 32 degrees on this 13th day of November 2020. And I can't wait for this year to be done and over with because this year has been... This year basically basically is like should be canceled or well like to be honest with you I think they should just like make this like one long month or something and like have 2020 be like a a a redo if you would say but I don't think they can do that they probably can't but yeah but I think they should re I think they should they should uh redo it in 2020 and I'm not too sure why this is open. But um yeah, I can't wait for this year to be done and over with. This has been the most stupidest year ever. Like with all the virus and uh you know, with the virus and uh, stuff like that, it's just been terrible. So hopefully next year will be better. And uh, whoever is president come January, hopefully they can, and I doubt it's going to be, it's not going to be Trump, but Biden, whatever, I don't really care anymore. I just hope he can take the vi if he could get the virus under control and get vaccines and stuff out so that we can just stop this stupid virus crap. I hope Biden's president now, president elect or whatever, even though Trump is still fighting for voter fraud or whatever, which I don't think it's, it's going to do anything. I I think too late now, but I think Trump should have did this earlier, and it's, or he should have did this to prevent it from happening. It, it's already happened. The votes are already been. The votes have already been counted and everything, you know. But I'm gonna be probably supporting Trump if he runs again in 2024. I'll be uh, supporting him, no, no doubt. But let's just give it up and let Biden have his four years of presidency, which. I don't think it's, it's not going to be that long because four years goes by quick. So everybody wants Biden, so have him, have, have their precious Biden be president for four years and then get rid of Biden and get Trump back in office if Trump wants to go back, which I hope either him or Vice President Pence becomes president in 2024, which I think Trump is going to run again. I don't think he's going to... Uh, I don't think he's going to back down from politics. Um, I think he's going to be a, politi a politician still even after his after his presidency. I think he's going to be You're going to hear you're going to hear him still. You're going to hear he's going to be just like the, you know, just got he's just, just going to be a different location. He's not going to be in the White House, but he's going to still be in, in politics, I'm sure. You're never not going to hear Trump. I think Trump is in the pol politics forever. You know, he never heard Trump before 2016, 2015, really. I mean, he saw him on Celebrity Apprentice and shows like that. But I think now, I think he is, is really wants to get this country good. And I think Biden's going to be, I'm very optimistic Biden's going to be a good president. I doubt he's going to do anything good for this country. And he's just going to be, he's not going to be a good president. And I think... After Biden has his precious four years in office, uh, Trump will be back 
and be president again in 2024 to 2028. Or, yeah, to, yeah, 2028. And then after that, whoever. I think Trump will be back and be president again in 2024. But I think they should, people just just let Biden. I think this. I think it's just just let Biden. Well, they're gonna have to because the voter fraud thing's not really going anywhere. I mean, Trump's got a couple points up on the electoral vote, but not a, by a lot. I just think uh, just let Biden just have his precious four years. Because he wants his name out there. He wants to be president so bad. Even though he's been in politics for 50 fucking years. And hasn't done one fucking thing. To. To help this country out. But uh, he wants to be president. But just let him have his presidency for. Four years. And then. After four years. He won't be president. Hopefully not. I don't think he's going to be. Pre I think he's going to be president for one term. I think he's going to be a one term president. And then after. He is president for four years. Trump is going to be back. That's my message to all my fellow Trump supporters and my fellow conservatives out there. That Biden will probably only be a one-term president. And after his four years of being president, he's going to be done. Because he's, he's not going to do anything for this country. He's going to be just like do-nothing Democrats. They all... All they do, nothing. Like Andrew Cuomo, for instance, does nothing for North Country. Chuck Schumer does nothing for the North Country. Democrats are all talk, but they don't do anything. They have the power to do stuff, but they just want to sit at their desk and be lazy asses. That's what they want to do. But, like I said, just have, have Biden be president for four years so they can shut up. And then, after... Four years, Biden will be, will be gone, or he will be back. I don't think he's gonna be. I think he's gonna be, like I said, a one-term president, and then Trump will be back in 2024. And like I said, I don't think Trump is gonna go anywhere. He might be out of the White House, but I don't think he's gonna really go anywhere besides like out of the White House. He's probably gonna be, you know, at his Trump Tower or something and be still in politics. But I think Trump will be back and be president in 2024. So anyway, that's my video. Thanks for watching. Peace.